Hello and welcome again to another short update on the, the Pi 3C engine, the modeler and the Starship as well. I've been updating the Starship in the past few days. It was only four days since my, my last video so um, I've been beavering away trying to get this, this model complete. Now on this model I've actually removed a number of sections, I've also added a number of sections. We'll actually have the, the front part of the ship now which uh, before was just a block um, I've now added um, things like turrets, I've added a landing bay at the front and uh, so this would be the sort of complete um, outside view model of the actual ship itself which is the sort of thing which is running fairly quickly on the Raspberry Pi Zero. Yes we're using the Raspberry Pi Zero, we'll continue to use the Raspberry Pi Zero to see how far we can push it. And I've added one other thing to the 3D modeler as well, which will make it much faster again. And on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see next to the little man that I showed you last time is a full screen button. So we're going to hit the full screen and you'll notice there's going to be quite a speed up. Whoops, I've jumped. I've, ha I've still got a few things left to do, but you'll notice as I, as I animate off now, it's a lot faster, a lot more responsive in full screen. It's the same resolution as the desktop. And, um, which is which is I think it's 1440 by 900 or whatever it is, and but it's it's a fairly high resolution modelled, and it's running um, at, at quite some speed on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So I thought I'd just show you that that speed difference with this new model. The new model um, has had the the um, original bay that I, I showed you earlier removed, it's also had the biodome simplified and also the shopping mall has been removed as well but the reason for that is that as we go into the landing bay quite at the moment it's a very simple version but as you go into landing bay there, there should be a level of detail that will suddenly pop in the other landing bay which is fully detailed and the rest of the model that you don't then see that such as the outside of the spaceship will then disappear without with us um, seamlessly if I, if I can manage that. So um, I'll be adding a lot more sections to the ship. And in fact, um, as we go to the end of the ship here, you'll also notice uh, well, somebody spotted in the, the remark last time there's no engines, this time there are engines. And um, I thought I'd go one step further. I'd, not only will I add engines, but I'll also start detailing the inside of the ship as well. And I've started out with the engine bay. So, um, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to pop out into the main editor, just escape, and um, I'm going to exit this model, or get, just remove this model, and I'm just going to, let's just turn around so you see the, the earth, and I'm going to load in an engine room, which is as big as that section we just saw, and uh, you'll have a go, have a look and see, see what it's like. This engine room is, is a lot more complex, it has lots of um, texture animation which gives it some nice effect. We're going to see that as it as it loads up and um, here it is now and to speed it up we'll go back to our full screen and we're going to fully appreciate the engine um, and what it, what it looks like. So we're going to just zip into it now and as we go in you can start to appreciate the scale of these engines. These engines are using um, textured animation um, there's no moving parts, no moving um, coordinates. All, they, all that's happening here is it's flipping between fl frames, but it gives a nice moving effect. So it's like little mini movies in each of these textures, which give a, it, it, at the end of the day, it looks like it is actually moving. It, it looks like hot plasma is coming from this end and being compressed and then shot off around the back to these, these little round um, fusion reactors at the end. And um, the idea, it's just, it's just a bit of fun, but it, the idea is this fusion goes, it gets accelerated and then shot out to the, to the end here and then shot back out to the, to the engine vent at the back. So um, anyway, it's just a bit of fun, but, uh, but it's nice. It looks nice and um, it's something where we can appreciate the size of these eight huge engines inside this, this big engine bay. And uh, it's got full girders and supports and, and uh, walkways. Uh, there will be more things in this. I've, 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 um, I'm, again, I'm pushing it to the limit with the Raspberry Pi Zero to see what I can get. And now with a fairly high resolution full screen, it's, yeah, it's performing very well. So it's, I was quite surprised again how, how much um, we can get out of this little Pi Zero. And, um, and actually, I tried this also on the Pi 4. 
and uh, even though I've written this engine for the Pi Zero, I was quite surprised the Pi 4 was stuttering. Um, this, the Pi Zero here seems to be performing very smoothly and without any jittering or, or stuttering, whereas the Pi 4 was actually stuttering. These animations would go did 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 and then suddenly speed up, sometimes faster, frame rate sometimes very slow, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's my coding rather than the actual, um, rather than the actual Pi 4 itself. And to be fair, it's not using any multi-processing. Multi it's all designed for single-core processing on the, and, and for this little five-pound computer. Um, but overall, it, it performs it performs really well. Obviously, if you put this on a, win, a, a PC, I've had it run a PC, it, it runs as smooth as butter <laughs> at full frame rates and everything else. You'll notice also that um, a lot of it's very, that there's no sort of smooth shading. And that's simply because not that the engine's not smooth, it doesn't have smooth shading, it's just my model hasn't been exported with normals at the moment. I haven't got normal generations set, um, set up. So um, everything is a bit flat. Um, but I will have normal generation in there quite soon, or it, it, but it does actually pick up normals as my exporter is not not putting out normal, so nothing is that smooth. It's all flat shaded. But uh, but overall, though, I can you can certainly we can certainly appreciate the speed and um, the scale of the, the sort of models you can do on the on the Raspberry Pi Zero and see what we can get away with. There's some really I'm sure there's some really nice games that can be made and done with this sort of. Um, complexity of model, whether anything with adventure games, the first person shooters, obviously not that much more complex, nothing that's that um, CPU intense, but uh, certainly for graphics and wandering around, um, yeah, there are quite a few games that you can think of which could utilize the sort of graphics on a five pound computer. So, anyway, those are the updates I wanted to show you. Just uh, First of all, the updates of the ship, the, the engine bay you can see here, and also the full screen, which um, on the Raspberry Pi Zero is a lot faster to render. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that update. Thanks for watching.